on this week's KSP News Show. KSP 0.9 named, but is KSP really better than ever? And 0.9 enters experimentals, and apparently it's going a lot better than MaxMaps thought. All that and more on this week's KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jin Lee Kerman. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbinauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman, and welcome to this rather late edition of last week's KSP News Show. I know I should have uploaded yesterday on Sunday, but I didn't have time due to work and all that sort of stuff, so I'm going to be uploading it on the Monday instead. Now, as for the KSP news, we have had a ton this week, as I predicted. 0.9 has had its official name released, otherwise known as Beta Than Ever. And, more importantly, MaxMaps has revealed some of the new features that will be available in 0.9 other than the Mark III parts. And I have to say, I am a huge fan of Kerbal Experience. So let's begin by talking about this new Kerbal Experience system. MaxMaps has been very vocal on Twitter recently, revealing all the different features for Kerbal Space Program 0.9. And on December the 2nd, he puts up an image of a load of markers that you'd usually see on the nav ball, so like the normal, the anti-normal, the radial, anti-radial and stuff like that. All, sort of, all sorts of things that we're used to seeing on the nav ball now that we have Kerbal Space Program 0.25. And he says, as the caption, he says, for people who missed it, this is what your UI will look like with a level 5 pilot. Now this means that I think what he's trying to put forward here is that different Kerbals will have different traits depending on how much experience they'll have, depending on how much they cost in wages and stuff like that. Because I do believe wages are being added into the game as a cost um, for your craft, but I'm not too sure. Um, I will need to get more details on that. But these um, markers here, obviously you'll have your prograde and your retrograde vector, and I'm guessing you'll probably have your maneuver node as your uh, normal, as it's always been in Kerbal Space Program. However, the extra little markers, so like your target marker, your radial marker, your normal marker and stuff like that, they will all be dependent on whether your Kerbal is experienced enough to know what these things mean. And that adds a little bit more, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but I think it's a, I think it's a really good addition into Kerbal Space Program because it just adds that layer of randomness into the game because I, I, I think that's kind of what Kerbal Space Program has been missing for the past few updates now just that layer of randomness and sort of like what the fuck why did I die because of that I think I, <laughs> I know that a lot of games don't like having that sort of stuff like I know Battlefield and stuff like that they complain constantly about randomness but random failures in Kerbal Space Program and um, it's what happens in space programs in real life to be honest and um, sometimes in Kerbal Space Program that might be a good thing but again I'd like to get your guys' take on it what do you think about this new Kerbal experience system and how would you like to see it be implemented and affect the way that you play the game coming back to the markers though we have one new marker that we have not seen before if you look at the image on screen you will see in the top left hand corner a new marker called stability assist now, I have no idea what this means, I have no idea how it's going to be used, maybe um, it gives the pilots a better control of the craft, I'm really not too sure. It hasn't really been explained in much detail, but I think if it is what I'm thinking of, like a sort of passive mech jeb sort of thing, then I can kind of see a level 5 pilot being a little bit overpowered for Kerbal Space Program, because at the end of the day, it's supposed to be you that's flying the ship, not a computer, which is pretending to be the Kerbal. I realise and stuff that it, it will take time to rank your pilots up to level 5 and stuff like that, but just imagine, just imagine being able to go out to duel, so long as you've built a ship with enough fuel and stuff, you'll be able to do it completely free of charge. The, Kerbal will do all the manoeuvre nodes and stuff like that free of charge for you and you won't, you'll just have to sit back and watch it on a screen. As much as I find Mech Jeb is useful as a mod, I really don't like using it because it feels cheaty and boring and stuff like that. 
And so adding something like that on into the game could be seen as a little bit of a cheaty sort of implementation. But it still remains to be seen what it's actually used for. Now with Kerbal Experience, um, Squad are also overhauling the contract system. Um, they are implementing the fine print mod into stock um, game, similar to what they did with the Pork Jet Space Plane Plus mod back in 0.25. Now I think this is a really good idea because firstly I think that the fine print mod is really good from what I've seen of it. I haven't installed it personally because I don't like to personally mess with career mode and I like to keep career mode quite pure and only use like the parts mods and stuff like that with it. I don't like to actually affect the, the actual gameplay of it so to speak but implementing this mod from what I've seen is going to be a really good idea because it just adds a, a real an extra layer of diversity when compared to the other contracts and stuff like that and it just adds a layer of diversity to the sort of missions that you can actually take on in Kerbal Space Program. Max Maps has also tweeted out that the amount of biomes has gone up significantly from 0.25 saying that the game has now has over a hundred biomes throughout the Kerbal system that you can go and obtain science from. Now again this just adds an extra level of diversity for the players of Kerbal Space Program to really go and explore and try and find all the science that they possibly can from all these different biomes. Max Maps also goes on to say in his tweets that 0.9.0 is the most feature rich and deep update that Squad have ever done, even more so than 0.18. Now to you newer players of Kerbal Space Program, 0.18 was a huge update in Kerbal Space Program's history. It added in docking, it added in various different planets such as I think Elu and Jewel. It added um, loads of different stuff, it added new UI tweaks etc etc, all that sort of good stuff. and. To say that 0.9.0 is actually richer and deeper than that update in terms of features and new parts added is kind of saying something as to the scale of this update and I really cannot wait for it now. The full KSP features video that Squad usually release on their YouTube channel just before the update is released is currently in the pipeline which means that it could be a lot closer than we initially thought. And that again is backed up when Max Maps tweeted 11 hours ago from me recording this, experimentals so far way less buggy than we expected. Very, very promising. Now that could mean that Kerbal Space Program 0.9.0, otherwise known as KSP Beta Than Ever, could be released within the next week or two. Now if they could get 0.9 or beta than ever or whatever you want to call it out before the end of 2014 I reckon it would just be the best Christmas present for all us Kerbinauts out there that have been playing the game both new and old because this is a significant step in Kerbal Space Program's history we're going from alpha into beta and it's just going to be so awesome when 0.9 releases because Kerbal Space Program will begin to feel like such a complete package when compared to what it was in previous updates. But yeah, that's going to pretty much round it off for this week's KSP News Show. I'm sorry that it's been perhaps shorter than usual because, well, I'm currently on study leave and I should be revising for exams and that's exactly what I'm going to do once I finish recording this commentary. So I'm very sorry that perhaps I didn't cover all the features. I will link you to the Kerbal Space Program dev blog as usual in the description down below so you can get the latest updates. I will also link Max Maps's Twitter so that you can see all the latest updates but also I will link my Twitter as usual in the description because I usually retweet the latest news for Kerbal Space Program. But again, that's going to pretty much round it off for this week's episode guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Jin Lee Kerman signing off. Stay classy.